If you received access to CS2 and you can't actually open up the game, or you find that it's crashing pretty often, here's a few fixes that can actually help you get back in game, especially ones that you've probably never seen before. So to begin, obviously, first of all, I assume you've already tried the basic steps of A, updating your graphics driver. If you haven't already, you'll find a link in the description down below to update NVIDIA, Intel, and AMD. And B, you've already made sure that Windows is up to date. If you're using Windows LTSC or a long-term stability whatever it is version that keeps you on a much older version of Windows, you should try updating to Windows 22H2 for Windows 11 and Windows 10, I'm not too sure, but the newer versions of Windows, essentially. When you update Windows, lots of errors starting up the game or even crashes without errors can be fixed if you're running a much older version. And of course, see that you've already verified the game files. In order to do some, currently it's called CSGO and you launch into CS2, so right-click it and choose Properties. In the future, it may be called Counter-Strike or Counter-Strike 2. If you see that, right-click and choose Properties there instead. Then on the Installed Files tab of CS2, simply click Verify Integrity of Game Files here to run through all the files on your PC for CS2 and verify them to make sure everything is the way that it's supposed to be. Assuming you've run through those very basic steps, what else can we try? Well, assuming you're watching this video now, let's try changing some compatibility settings for CS2. In the future, you can right-click CS or CS2, hover over Manage, and choose Browse Local Files. But for now, while it's an option launching a CSGO, head to Browse Local Files, and you'll be taken to the CSGO folder. Head to Game, followed by Bin, Win64, and inside of here, you should find CS2.exe. Simply right-click this and choose Properties. Then, inside of here, head across to the Compatibility tab and tick Run this program in compatibility mode 4. Then, from this drop-down, select Windows 10 or 11. If you only see up to 8, that's fine. Select 8. Apply and OK. And the next time you launch the game through Steam, things should hopefully be working properly. Do note that if you run the EXE directly, you won't be able to play competitive matches as it's not linked properly to Steam. If this didn't work for you, untick it and apply. We can also try disabling full screen optimizations by ticking him and running this program as administrator. These two fixes may work for you. Apply OK and launch the game through Steam to see if everything's fixed. If you still can't launch the game and you have an anti-cheat like face it, you should try closing it and seeing if that fixes things. Anything that hooks into the game can cause it to crash, such as anti-cheats, some anti-viruses, and especially third-party overlays such as MSI Afterburner and River Tuner. If you're using any of those pieces of software, simply exit them completely and then see if you can play the game. And now for a very odd fix, but it seems to work for a lot of users in CS2. We'll be disabling NVIDIA Ansel system-wide. Ansel is that NVIDIA feature that allows you to fly around and take really cool screenshots of whatever game you're playing. CS2, I don't think supports this. And for some people, having it enabled on your system, which is the default, can cause the game to crash or not start up at all. All we need to do for this is hit Start, and on Windows 11, type in Terminal, otherwise on Windows 10, type in PowerShell. Right-click and choose Run as Administrator. Now, inside of Terminal, if you're on Windows 11, make sure it says PowerShell in the top left, otherwise click the drop-down and choose PowerShell here. Now that we're all in the same place, in the description down below you'll find two commands. This first one and this second one here. Essentially, these two commands look for all copies of NV Camera Enable in System32 and the NVIDIA folder, then runs each of them with the command off following them. This will disable NVIDIA Ansel on your computer system-wide. So any game that supports Ansel, you won't be able to use that feature, but it has fixed CS2 for a lot of people. So all you need to do is copy those commands both at once, paste them in, and hit paste anyway, then enter a few times to disable Ansel system-wide. At this point, the game is probably working for you. That very odd fix works for a lot of people from what I've seen. Finally, if you're overclocking your system, whether it's your graphics card or CPU, temporarily disable that overclock clocking and take yourself back to stock settings to see if that fixes CS2 instability or especially crashing on startup. And finally, if you have your RAM overclocked, which you may not even realize, by having XMP on Intel platforms or on AMD platforms, it's called Expo or DOCP, it could also cause instability if you have mixed RAM sets. 
If you have a 4000 and 5000 megahertz set, you put them together and enable overclocking, it could result in some serious instability, especially if you're mixing sets. So try launching into your BIOS by restarting your PC and hitting F2, delete, or F12, or whatever it says on your screen to get into the BIOS and disable XMP, Expo, or DOCP temporarily just to see if that fixes CS2. Anyways, that's about it for this quick video, so hopefully it helped you. Thank you all for watching. Mine has been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.